Hello everyone, FSP here. I was working on uh, some salt preps, emptying out these cans, these cardboard things here. Uh, just thought I'd take a, a minute or two and do a very short video on how I've been storing my salt. You can store salt in any kind of glass container. Uh, this was a, a gravy jar. This was a pickle jar, obviously, and I believe this was a gravy jar as well. Uh, clean out the jars. You know, if the labels come off while you're trying to wash them, then take them off. If they stay on, let them stay on. It, it's whatever. It's up to you. But uh, salt is a forever prep, and it can be held for long, long, long periods of time. Uh, I've done a short video on my Camo Patriot channel about this, but... Uh, I uh, did not cover how I was storing it in that video, and uh, so I thought I'd cover that today. So you can buy salt by these, you can buy it by the bag, the 10, 15, 20 pound bag, whatever you choose to buy is up to you. Uh, I typically buy two or three of these at a time, and then there's like empty glass jars that can be kept, spaghetti sauce jars, whatever. Uh, then I'll take these and empty them into these before this turns into... If you don't take them out of here, store them long term in here, your salt will become a big giant rock and you won't be able to get done without the little spout there. So, uh, I, I, I use, uh, it's very humid here and I'm, I'm trying to think long term. I'm trying to think, you know, post SHTF, there'll be no air conditioning. I live in a very humid climate and salt and metal do not combine the salt will corrode metal these are all metal lids here uh so what i do is i take a i don't know a 35 cent sandwich bag and i put i lay it down over the top both layers i don't cut them in half or nothing like that i use both layers of plastic just lay it over the top screw the lid down on get it nice and tight uh i think uh you know these jars aren't meant for you know Food preservation, that's obviously, I mean, you know, for a year or two, yeah. But these are not like cannon jars, you know. So, uh, I you know, I have no reason to think this would work, but uh, I'm giving it every chance I can. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep two things. I'm trying to keep humidity out of these jars so my salt stays nice and loose. And I'm trying to keep the salt away from the metal. Salt will corrode the metal. The metal will, you know, will get weak and it, it'll fail. It'll fail. You'll have, you know, rock hard salt. You'll, st you'll still have salt. You'll have to get an ice chipper or something and chip it all off. But uh, this is a process that I'm trying uh, to see if it can uh, keep the moisture out. So uh, just wanted to spend a little bit of time here and talk to you about make sure you're storing your salt properly. They'll store a year or two in this, but uh, eventually where I live, humidity gets in these real easy. Uh, cardboard, humidity. It's why you don't store ammo in cardboard. Same thing. So, uh, in the south where I'm at. So, I just thought I would cover that. This is how I'm storing salt. Uh, you can use cannon jars. If you've got, uh, you know, cannon jars to spare, then you can use that. But if you don't, then you can... You can use gravy jars, spaghetti sauce jars, whatever. Pickle jars, you know. And uh, you can make it work. Thanks for watching, y'all. Trying to help. Uh, uh, this is FSP. We'll check y'all later. Stop, fool. Stop.